Hello and welcome to another day of text reflections. Let us go to God in prayer. Almighty God, even as we reflect upon your word this day once again, we look to you, Almighty God, as our strength, as our hope, the courage that we need, the strength that we need, the hope of the ages is in you, Almighty God. And even as we contemplate and reflect upon our lives, upon the issues that um, affect us each and every day, Almighty God, we look to you as our source and we turn to your word, Almighty God, for inspiration, for teaching, for enlightenment, dear Lord, to move us from a place of darkness into your glorious light. Come into our hearts, come into our homes, into our workplaces, wherever we find ourselves right now, Almighty God, and tabernacle with us. May we experience a touch of heaven right here, right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Um, the passage that I would like to reflect on this day um, is a taken from Romans 6, reading from verse 22. Romans 6, uh, verse 22. And it reads thus, But now you are free from the power of sin and have become slaves of God. Now you do those things that lead to holiness and result in eternal life. I'm going to repeat that. But now you are free from the power of sin and have become slaves of God. Now you do those things that lead to holiness and result in eternal life. The word that perhaps will come out and hit persons first is that word slave. Slave to God. And now that is a very jarring word, especially um, persons from um, of my complexion and um, from the region which we come from in, in, in the Caribbean, um, having forefathers being slaves, it does have a very jarring effect. Uh, to be called slaves to anything or to anyone is a, a very jarring, a very uncomfortable thing to say. But here we see it in the Bible, being, we are being called slaves to God. But if we look back a little earlier in the passage, um, in verse 16, it says this, Don't you realize that you become the slave to whatever you choose to obey? You can be a slave to sin, which leads to death, or you can choose to obey God, which leads to righteous living. So there is a choice um, for all of us to make, a decision for all of us to make whom we are going to submit to or what we are going to submit to. We can always argue, well, I am my own man, I'm my own woman. I do and I make my own decisions. Every decision that we make is informed out of a particular, I guess, set of priorities a way of thinking that we are holding to one way or the other. Ultimately, there are forces larger than ourselves, uh, forces older than ourselves, um, forces um, beyond ourselves that present to us a, 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 a way of living. There are spiritual forces um, that as human beings, sometimes we cannot fully comprehend or understand. There are human institutions and forces that are at play as well in our lives. Um, even down to the clothing that we wear, we say that we're independent and we free thinkers and all of this. We, the clothing that we choose to wear, the food that we eat and some of the, the, the opinions that we hold. Um, are, are, are shaped and formed out of the society that we come come from. Even our, the language that we speak um, either empowers or limits our ability to express the ideas that we may have in our heads. So as free as we think we are and we want to be, we are still holding to a lot of different forces around us. Now we can enter into a massive debate about that. We... Um, that is beyond what I would like to share today. Um, but 
um, if you want to comment you can comment below um, and we can have further discussion on it but the truth is we are holding to one thing so verse 16 again of the same or um, Romans 6 says um, don't you realize that you become the slave to whatever you choose to obey you can be a slave to sin which leads to death or you can choose to obey god which leads to righteous living but we want to choose to be free of the power of sin and to be free of that power of sin requires us to submit to god to surrender to god to allow God's ways to be our ways, even though his ways and our thoughts are high above our thoughts. Still yet, we need to submit to God. Uh, it's something that is coming up in the, the, the passages that we're reflecting on over and over again. It's a sense, brothers and sisters, of humility. It is a sense and a need for humility to submit and say, God, your way, not mine. We see it in the life of Jesus, him surrendering to the will of his father. And as Christians, we do the same. And it is true that, that we have victory. If you want to be on the winning side, then you have to uh, fall in line. I, I, I love sports and I'm into sports a lot. And it always reminds me that in order to be on, it doesn't make a difference how um, great you are as an individual especially if you're playing in a team sport you will need to work together as one we need to work together as one now our star player is jesus he did the heavy lifting for us and our coach is the father so we continue to have this need to fall in line yes we have our choice we have our free will we can choose but i believe brothers and sisters based on my own experience based on what i've seen in the scriptures the best choice is to be on team jesus to submit to his will and his his guidance for our lives it is essential because uh, in when we when we when we are faced with all the challenges of life we can turn to the creator we can turn to the one that made it all we can turn to the one who has the answers we can turn to the all wise god and in this pattern we can recognize that as we submit there is a great benefit because he does not put us into a another type of slavery but rather even though he said we are called slaves to god it empowers us to live a righteous and a holy life a life that is pleasing to god but a life also that is transformative not only for ourselves but for those who are wrong us so i want to challenge us again today even as we meditate on this word I will repeat again from verse 22. But now you are free from the power of sin. That freedom. That freedom that we have in Jesus Christ. To live victoriously. That freedom to live uh, away from the, the things that in the end cripple us. The things that break us. Um, sin, brothers and sisters, that breaks our lives. Um, broken relationships. Um, broken families. Um, loss and broken dreams all come um, by our most times come from our disobedience to the will and purpose of God for our lives but if we submit ourselves God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all our righteousness and to set us in place to live a victorious life brothers and sisters have a wonderful and victorious day today Amen